So, so this is Plan B Express. So I welcome you all for this Tuesday edition of um, Plan B, B Special Business Combo. And what we look at in the Plan B, So what we look at in plan B is basically to show people that there are so much opportunity that you can explore in the digital space. And but the, one of the lovely things that uh, what we help people to know is that you probably do not even need to give your money to any third party. However, we have seen a whole lot of things, what has happened in the space. Uh, people have lost fortune just because of uh, keeping their money to the hands of um, third party on the name of making profit and then paying them daily return and all of that, which is not worthwhile anywhere. And then, so what actually stopped you? What stopped you from getting involved by yourself, taking opportunity to, uh, taking time? It's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. So uh, you do not need to, uh, you do not need to, depend on anyone because it's an open space. That's one of the lovely thing. Uh, the, the digital space, an open space where everyone can take advantage of what they want to take advantage of independently. The only thing is that on the challenge again is the fact that people need to learn basics. Okay, so basics are meant to be uh, passed to people so that you will know what to do part time and that's the only difference. Uh, so, but in a case where people are not even ready to learn, that's where we have the greatest challenge, all right? So now what we do in Plan B Express is to expose you to those opportunities that are bound. Number one, we look at um, you know, the, the global financial market. So the global financial market comprises of three major aspects. There are more, you know, we have tech and all of that. But the question you ask yourself is that you needed to have leverage in a cash flow system, you know, where you can make money, right? Um, investing and at the same time where you can make money working you know that is you want to build up you know uh, a cash flow income you know by active or by passive so it's on that note we narrow it down to three major aspects which many aspects will still come over the year but we look at the crypto market with an imagined economy this is the blockchain technology as an imagined economy then we look at the stock market which is um uh, the most highly structured institution you can say uh, across the globe, okay? So it's the highest, all right? So if you look at the financial market, um, is the highest if you look at the structural setup, right? So um, so when you are looking at that, so sometimes, um, okay, oh, sorry, just let me come up with something. Okay. Very cool. Let me know over here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just bringing up something up here. Okay. Okay. So I just want us to understand why you need to take it lightly, <laughs> helping yourself. Uh, not to waste your resources. So we're talking about the global financial market. And I said the largest or the most structured, not by the phone, the most structured financial market is actually the, the stock exchange, the stock market, which we call the capital market or the you know capital market, commodity market. So financial market, um, so you have aspect of um, you know stock, you know, commodities and all the like. And then, so, you know, we talked about Tesla, talked about Apple, Amazon, and different stock you could talk about. And then what you will have done many years back. So, because when you look at stock, stock is more of um, a long term. But today, we have dimension to it. We have long, long term. We have short, medium term. And of course, we have short term. So, now, but you want to enjoy it, you want to participate in all, uh, just like, you know, say if you had invested, maybe if you had invested uh, $1,000 in uh, in Tesla five years ago, let's look at what you will have made. If you had invested 
$1,000 five years ago in Tesla, by now you will have worth $8,000, right? So then if you had invested in Apple five years ago, yeah, so look at Apple five years ago, you will have worth $3,000. And then Nike, you will have worth $2,000. In Amazon, you will have what a thousand nine hundred and eighty nine dollar a thousand. I'm just showing you guys practical things. Um, now you will now say out of all this talk, this one will have been the best decision you made. Now, so if you had invested uh, hundred bucks, now you will have had eight hundred dollars at the like. Now for you to have invested in Tesla, you know five years ago with your hundred dollars. Now you can now see why we expose people to divergence in the space now leveraging both on the stock itself leveraging on the crypto market because the crypto market is the emerging economy so if you ask me now felix which place ought to take much of your fund right now as an investor not a financial advice for you but for felix where should take much of my money should be crypto why because an emerging economy okay is an emerging economy. So if I had invested $500 in, um, in um, Tesla five years ago, I would have won $800. Now let's look at um, Yahoo Finance. Okay. <laughs> so but, so um, I'm doing this because I've listened to a good number of people or when people come to Plan B, why they don't cope? Why they don't cope, right? You know, I've checked it around. I saw why most people do not cope in plan B. What they are looking for is a hit and run system, okay? What they want to get is hit and run system, Ponzi scheme and all of that. So in plan B, we show you real deal, how to help yourself, how to really better from, um, you know, you know, making money and then building, because our slogan in plan B is five years to financial freedom via digital asset accumulation. So let me look at Matic, for instance, Polygon. Uh, if you had invested in Matic Polygon. Okay, so let me look at historical data. Where are you? Thank you. Okay, there we go. So five years ago in Matic, so five years ago, this is 20, um, this is 2023. So, uh, so 2019, so 2020, 2022, 2023. So that's about 2018. So 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So let's trace back to 2019 if it's possible for us to have that. But I know Matic was not up to that. Uh, where is this? Check by how many years back. Guys, I'm arriving at somewhere so that you know how to take this journey, okay? You need to know how to take this journey and remove yourself from the funny Ponzi scheme people are promoting here and there. So why people always do not cope when they come to plan B is that they have this mindset of, you know, get rich quick scheme. I'm going to get it now. Where are you? I'll go here. And I mean, I mean business when I'm talking about coming into, so uh, 2018 to now. So let's look at it. 2018. Uh, I'm sure Matic was around 2019 or thereabouts. So, but let's look at, we got our data from here. Yeah, let's go. So I think your orientation will change now after this meeting. You will have a different perspective of why you need to really build portfolio. And that's why we always clam on about five years to financial freedom via digital asset accumulation. That's what we target to do. That's our visions in plan B. And so when you come into plan B, we show you the journey through which you need to achieve your financial freedom. Okay, you can see now the bottom of Matic was in 2019, right? 2019, not, not up to four years ago, that, not up to five years, so let's call it four years. But let's just say five years, okay? Now, 2019, April 28, 
2019, Matic. So till May 2019, you could see Matic was about two zeros. Okay. Um, so let's say this is we're in the month of July or August now. So we're in the month of August. Okay, so in 2019, April, or yeah, April, let's call it April or May, you invested in Matic, uh, which was the average price of 0 0.004256, okay? So let, let, let's look at it critically, um, let's go here. I'm arriving at somewhere and I hope somebody is gonna be learning something very, very important to add this in this uh, training. Okay, so let's go here. I'm coming, sorry guys. So Matic, uh, it copied. Uh, Matic, so I'm just picking at random. So for you to understand when we ask you to come into plan B, we're not looking for hit and run system. However, we diversify. So that's what you are here to learn. So Matic price at this in 2019, May, May 2019. Okay, May 2019. So you can now see why we say crypto is an emerging economy. So you take 100 bucks and invest in Matic. Okay, now there are chances are there, risk are there that price of Matic could go up and won't go down again. Don't get that twisted. Okay, so $100. So let's look at it very critically. Uh, $100 invested in Matic just to buy Matic. Yeah, so you're going to use $100. So let's say $100 divide by 0 0.0045. Let's just call it 0 0.0045. Good. There you go, you have about 22,222 Matic as of that time. Yeah, now Matic, you can have some places. So we say, so two, two, just call it 22,000 Matic. So very soon Matic is going to be called POL by next year because there are a lot of margin activities and all of that. So Matic, you bought 22,000 pieces of Matic with $100. Now see why we encourage people in plan B to diversify. What we are looking at, number one, is that we said the crypto market, okay? The crypto market, all right? The stock market, all right? The stock market and the currency market. So see what you do here. What you do basically here is farming, okay, or what we call for portfolio is in the portfolio, you now look for ways of farming. So portfolio building, okay? So which has to do with farming, holding, so farming, holding, all right? So if you now must trade, so you have swinging, and then if you must trade like future, we are what we call position trading. Okay, so just take note of all of these position trading. Okay, so this is what you do practically, or if you want to really get it well, position trading in your crypto. Now, the other things people do much of this scalping, well, that's their choice. They have choice to make about that, but for real, Scalping and day trading, some people do that, day trading. I'm not saying it's bad, so but it can be multitasking, okay? Now, ordinarily, a, a beginner shouldn't be scalping. Now, as a beginner, you are not supposed to be scalping. Yeah. Scalping, beginner scalping uh, is capital no. So anyone who is a trainer, who's really into the business and is doing it, raw and direct, not hype, uh, it shouldn't encourage you to be scalping as a beginner. The first, especially in the crypto, the first you should ask you to do is to learn how to just buy and hold. Then when you learn, you're going to need other tools. And that's why we talked about portfolio and all of that. Tools to understand when to buy, and when to sell. 
And when you learn that, you're going to understand just to make the money and build up the portfolio over and over again. Now, so, so farming, holding, scalp, swinging, scalping. Now, this fellow have bought Matic. The question he will now ask next is that, are there places I could stake Matic? Yeah. So let me look. Are there places I could stake Matic? You now have to look for genuine platform for staking or farming Matic, right? That time we used to have what is called Matic.network. Now, but not now. I don't know. Dot network. That was those days. Uh, let me just go to CoinGecko. CoinGecko. I just hope somebody is learning because this training is free for you. So I don't see reason why you shouldn't learn. So Matic, so when it was changed to Polygon, so we still have, uh, okay, Matic Foundation. Uh, I don't visit it too regularly. So Polygon, I think, well, okay. Okay. So, uh, so we have build, take, okay. So it's gonna take us to right set up a node, becoming a developer. You are not any worldwide securing the Polygon POS network. You say yes, you want to stake. I'm just taking you around to understand why we do what we do and how you know what are we doing per se. So like now maybe um, you know you want to uh, we stake from the beginning and that's what we did. Um, and we're doing average of how many percent, give and take. I'm just doing an example. And we're doing average of about, in a year, we're targeting like 40%, which was big that time. And over time, it was reduced drastically because, okay. So, okay. So, as at that time. So, now, so let's look at your matic as at that time, right? Uh, let's look at your matic as at that time. Let's say APY was 37% or thereabout. So now you have 22,000 Matic. 22,000, one, two, three, Matic. That was what you had. And now you are going to, uh, for four years now, so let's say five years, 365 days multiplied by five, 365 days, 365 days multiplied by five. So that was going to be 1,825 days. So let's go. 1,825 days. Oh, maximum. So you can see. So maximum 365 days. Okay. Uh, so 365 days. So let's just call it that way. So yeah, 365 days. And it's now showing you that in 365 days, you will have accrued... 1032 matic now if you look at the multiplier effect so let's say it's now being compounded right it's now being compounded so uh if it compound interest so let's go to um uh interest interest calculator or compound interest right Sorry, sorry. Okay. So now let's look at, we're getting how many Matic uh, per year, average of a thousand something Matic per year. So if you do get calculation now on 22,000, so that should be, that should be about how many percent per year? Um. 22,000, there was bigger, okay. 22,000 multiplied by 0 0.8, oh, sorry, 22,000, 22 multiplied by 0 0.05, so that's average about 4% APY. Let's just call it that way. Now, average about 4% APY per year. So now you have four years or five years. So let's say, let's use this dollar sign as your MATIC. Then you have 22,000 MATIC. Yeah. Then you're keeping interest per year 4%. 
yearly, and you're compounding for five years. Compounding for five years. So interest per year is 4% compounding for five years. So let's look at how many will you have at the end of five years. So you're going to be having 26,861. So let's call it 26,000 matic after five years. Now you come back. So how much is matic? So let's look at, you've come back. Now let's look at matic price presently. Forget about those prices that has gone up so much. And then that's where you now make what we call residual income because sometimes when the price was going up and then you needed money, you can be taking your accrual. Now, Matic presently is about 66, 67 cents. So let's take our 26,000. So 26,000 Matic multiplied by 0 0.67, 6762. So that's about $17,581. So now, what do you say now compared to Tesla that you invested for five years, five, five years ago, $100 is just giving you eight or nine. Now, the question you want to ask me, Felix, then there's no need to invest in stock. No, don't talk like that. That's what we call reducing your risk by diversifying, right? There are some stock too that will have done very massively well. I've seen a lot of stock that have done some crazy percentages and all of that over two, three years and all of that. Now, so you're creating security because remember, your focus is to become financially free. So you are not looking for gambling and all of that. No, you are diversifying. So I've been able to like just show you that, okay, what do I need to do? Basically, I need to learn basically on how to leverage in the market, you know, which one should I buy and hold and all of that. So crypto, basically just understand that the four major or five major predominant activities you should be doing on your crypto are what I just got listed here, right? Portfolio building, farming, holding, swinging and position trading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people do scalping, but as a beginner, I say no, no, no for you. Look at why you do not need to do scalping as a beginner. Let me quickly go to this guy, okay. So let me quickly go to this guy. Uh, let me take off, let me go away from demo. I'll probably go to live. Okay, so now this is OKS, okay, wow. This is OKS, so if I come to OKS and you want to buy and be selling, are you kidding me? 12, that means uh, these guys must have been using my money every day to be buying. <laughs> Crazy. I didn't know that I sold some um, uh, PLS and to buy back later because I knew that the market was crashing down eventually. But one of the funnest things is that I have um, I have an order place to be buying Ethereum and ARV. So I just discovered that if I had not even come, they will have exhausted the money to buy um Ethereum and FRB. So part of the investment strategy, just you can imagine every day, um, this guy, now this is already, so today already, today is eight, you can see it has bought $5 worth of ARB for me, right? And it has bought how many? $9, that's about $10 worth of uh, Ethereum. Yesterday, it has bought ARB for $5 and it has bought Ethereum. Now, it was an instruction given to you, just like when you give instruction to your bank. Because why? You are an investor. You are, want to build wealth, okay? You want to build wealth. So you are different from uh, those ones who just want to do hit and run type of business. And then they tell you, I want to make this amount of money and all of that. No. Are you kidding me? Okay, 1.5. Okay. Now, you bought uh, ARB at 1.4. 1.1455 yesterday and bought 1.141 today. Uh, how much is ARB presently? So let me just look at it. ARB, ARB. Okay, ARB. Okay, you can see that the one you bought today. Uh, let's look at ETH. I'm just trying to show you why you don't need to be in a haze. Now look at ETH you bought today, right? Now, this one is buying is probably those one you want to hold till when a cycle come. And understand something if you're listening to me, either you're on Facebook or you watch this 
recording after you know the life uh, training understand that when you are buying the coin know the time to buy like since last uh, beginning or end of last year this beginning of this year people have been buying coins coins that you know have valuable or things to do and all of that why so that because we know that cryptocurrency have what we call life cycle all right cryptocurrency are what we call life cycle so if it does have a life cycle which you're talking about the bitcoin halving so people want to buy bitcoin when the price is cheap for instance this is ethereum if i go by daily uh time frame yeah this daily time frame let me go to weekly so if i go by weekly now look at the chart at at the beginning of this year or at the end of last year ethereum was at a thousand and seventy dollars now it came down to as low as yeah so let's look at it here uh this may not give us so let's go back to our chart so i quickly will go to chart now i'm teaching some persons strategy that no one will teach you and for you to have a perspective about this space not the gambling kind of a thing however you want to make money daily we still have strategy to help you to make money daily so forget about those things people tell you oh uh we have our platform that um so so thing no we spread our tentacles so look at it so this is ethereum thank you this is ethereum this is a weekly time frame chart on ethereum okay so i just want to show you now okay great this is ethereum this is weekly time frame uh okay uh, it must have taken me back 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 to uh 2020 so forget 2020 now but in that order this is what people now did look at to understand the cycle of the market this is what people did now people look for the bottom in 20 hmm, something is going to surprise you is shock right now we have a very great support like a kind of similar double bottom in 20 there was 2018 right and um we're supposed to pick up in 2019 it was truncated when the journey was going this was COVID 19 of 2020 and that was why we couldn't continue the journey we started in 2019 to start our bull run okay now we have this journey and it was truncated of course obviously the market was truncated and we have a kind of double bottom as it were and then since then even though look at it you see that the chart didn't recognize this even though the price actually recognizes it i have my indicator that shows that see this are not trend irrespective of what was happening so now for anyone who understand what he was doing was going to be adding to his positions even when he saw the price here as the price crashed down everybody oh my god the, uh, this thing has finished we are down we are dying and all of that somebody is buying more at about i haven't gone to 270 dollars or even 200 and 360 yeah 367 dollars and you have it drop back to about 112 and it pop up again to 209 something dollars or there about and we crash back to about 80 dollars i think i bought about 86 dollars added and i helped a lot of people to buy um, ethereum that time by recommendation just come to me you are in plan b we just okay where do you start from i will have listed about 10 coins for you it doesn't matter you may not buy it because i know that now having that having done that ethereum star mooning and we could see what happened so as a 29 or 2020 after the COVID, you know was moving and then we have the market bounce back and then this was a ride now this is the thing i'm just showing to some persons the market ride up and did all time high it was a kind of double top in that may 2021 it pumped up to four thousand dollars plus almost four thousand three hundred dollars now look at this thing very simple 2020 to 2021 what's your problem this is March 2020. Let's say you even bought at $150. So probably you didn't buy on time. You bought $150 as at April. Yeah. And then April 2020. And then 2021. 2021. This is May. 
April to May, a year and one month. Let's call it a year and one month, a year, two months. Now you bought at $250, and there you go, the Ethereum go to $4,000. Let's say you didn't wait for $4,500. Perhaps you have sold at somewhere at about, let's say you have sold at about $3,500. So let's calculate. Now you use $150 to buy one Ethereum. That means you have $3,500. So let's calculate $3,500. Divide by hundred and fifty dollars. Am I am I am correct? Good. You have about twenty three x. Crazy. <laughs> I don't understand. You have about twenty three. That's two thousand three hundred percent in a year plus for Ethereum. Are there such opportunity now in Ethereum like that? Well, maybe no. <laughs> maybe no. Right? Because this is crazy, guys. How can I invest hundred and fifty dollars and in a year, let's call it one year, two months, and I rip. 3,000 without lifting hands. So then that means that's one of the things and that's what it, what it is. Now the market retraced back again and we have, you can see my line. This line were not drawn now, it was long. And then we have this and it broke and returned back again, having come having came down to $1,800 plus or even $1,700 plus. And we ride back again to that $4,600 thereabout almost $5,000. And then we, now as at, as at um, um, May 2020, March 2022, we already say we are bearish. Why? The market could not return back. And of course we use Bitcoin to even tell people what the dimension we may see. And we say in Bitcoin, we use as a yastic that if Bitcoin, uh, let me just quickly show you now, that if Bitcoin refuses to go above, um, $48,000, then we are in a beer market and everybody, you can sell off part of your US, uh, Bitcoin, you can see that we have a double top. Now we say if Bitcoin is unable to make it above 48,400 or 48,500, forget it. We are done. We are bearish. <laughs> Guys, forget it. We are done. We are bearish. And of course the trend change. And until we got to this line, then the market continued to go down. Can you see? All right. And that's exactly what happened to Ethereum. Of course, other coins have to bow the same way. Now, I just show you a dimension to understand why you don't need to be in a haste in building your financial freedom. If you are running too fast, you are going to be deceived by a lot of funny scheme. So there we go. And then the markets crashed down till beginning of. Uh, to the end of, yeah, last year, um, then this is 2022, right? And then we have, so Ethereum seems to have bottomed out at $871. And then we ride up again to about $8,900 and something dollars. But we said this place was a significant place. We need to get up here, retest and stand above here. But we couldn't. We crashed down again, yeah? to about $1,161, and we move up again to $1,600. Now, as a matter of fact, for somebody who are bought here, who want to hold, there's a person you are holding, you perhaps might have not sold us one, but there's a one you are swinging, you perhaps have been selling and buying and all of that, until finally the market say, okay, we are bullish, eventually we are back up. And you can see now that this area of interest for us up to now is still hitting in between these, that means we are still up, <clears throat> all right? This is weekly time frame, So we are still up. That is the, pre the, preliminary, the preliminary of the boom market journey. Now we can continue to go sideways all we can, but somebody has been able to buy from the bottom down. This is the question you ask yourself. Can I still buy Ethereum now? Why not? <laughs> Why not? You can go ahead and still buy. Why? Because you want to hold some Ethereum. So it's not a bad deal for you. But I always tell people, you perhaps may not have money to buy Bitcoin. So the best you could do is to look for other coins that have good potentials and buy to hold them. Okay, so now I've, I've been able to just like, you know, just give you a kind of a high effect of number one, the crypto as the emerging economy and how should you approach it? So your dimension of approach is very important. And that's what we say. Now, going to stock markets, 
What should I do? Now, there's, there are similarities between the stock market and the crypto market. Understand this. The similarity is this. Crypto market have a life cycle of about four to five years, but the stock market have a life cycle of about eight to 10 years. Now, where it go up and then retrace eventually and all of that. So now, so what, what do I do with that? I need to understand the dimension. So that means I need to learn to understand that you are an investor in, in stock, so you need to hold. Okay, you need to hold. Uh, let me just check something. I always forget these guys. Let me check. Uh, sorry, just a moment. So that means for your stock, you need to hold. And outside holding, you can as well swing. And then if some of them, you automatically, when you buy into some stock, yeah, you have already said you are going to be earning dividends. So which is like your uh your reward that's your family reward or whatever some stock have what we call dividend and bonus and all of those things so like uh, first bank declared dividends severally uh we have um we have um in local stock we have like a gt uh was it gtb or mtn okay quickly let me just show you something uh if i can still log into this account because i really use it well but what, one, one of the culture I have is that on my exchange platform, my broker, I always leave fractional value of any of my assets. Over the years, I will show people what was have happened. Wow, wow, wow. This is crazy, guys. <laughs> I wanted to buy more MTN because it was recommended for me yesterday, but I forgot. Crazy. Okay. Okay. So now, for instance, let me just show you now. Let me show you a transaction here. Transaction. This is like local stock, right? Now you could see if you look at here, this, this road dividend. This is on GTB. Dividend, this is on MTN. Dividend, this is on Boa Cement. MTN, right? And all of this. So these are dividend, okay? Dividend that you bought, you bought a stock and you are holding the stock. So automatically you have, so look at the dividend for this one. So automatically you have the stock and then you are being rewarded. And that's exactly what we do when we tell you to buy a coin and stake. Okay, uh, let me look at Fitso. Go out, Fitso. Is it feed so or feed so? Feed so. So far, okay. So I think, oh, I'm not buying. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh uh, no, these guys, I don't even understand them. Okay, let's see. This is feed so. So, oh, this guy I missed out of you. That's really giving the money and go away. So, this is feed so. Feed so is a stock, right? Feed so it's a stock, it's a local stock. So understand it. Please, what I'm showing you is not everybody that will show you this, okay? Understand that. Okay, feed so actually uh looking at okay. Uh you want to rebounce from the oh my god. Okay, network still congested. So Viso want to rebound. So, but I just want to show you some things. Okay, feed so, feed so. So for me, maybe if not the narrative, I will have, I will have waited for feed so at about 11 naira 10 kobo or 11 naira 15 kobo thereabout before buying. But it has been maintaining one kind of uptrend since, you know, um, technically you may not understand what I'm showing you, these are not trend, continued or trend. Um, so the trend had been a continued one. Even when it came down, it regained strength above 50 moving average and then continued the journey. And as I'm sure that's what we want to prepare to do. Now, for instance, if I want to buy such stock, what can I do? I probably can say, okay, let me just buy the market price. So let me buy like um, uh, 100 units, right? How much would that be? No, 100 you need a thousand something. I'm just for an example, or let's say 200 you need. 
2000 plus, yeah, click on that chart. Automatically say added, just show you an example. Now I can still go back to the same stock. At this point, I want to do my own uh, pricing. So this is the guy. And then I can click on more options so that I can put my own price, 11.15, okay? How many units? Oh, sorry, your upper limit is this. Oh, upper limit, this limit. How many, um, let's say, uh, another 200 or just 150, depending on how much money you have there. Price limit 15, oh, sorry, 11.15. <laughs> yeah, add. Oops, sorry, upper limit should be between 13, per, okay, because of the price range. Okay, let's just even leave it at that. Let's just say 13 point 0 0.2. Okay. Add to chart. So I placed prices right to buy fit so. Now another stock I'll check, uh, like I told you. So MTN. Okay, so MTN, sorry, real estate, which company? Agriculture. Okay, so MTN. Now it's interesting to know, okay, look at MTN. Let's go. MTN. MTN. MTN Nigeria, MTNN. You will see the slow go. That is Nigerian Stock Exchange. <laughs> this guy is crazy. I, I got the information when it was 270 when he told me to buy MTN feed so and one on that one. Nom, 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 nom. I will still remember. Okay, WAPCO. Yeah. MTN, WAPCO. So look at it. Now, this is a great show you that the journey may continue, but let me say. Uh, maybe when they told me 270, it was down here, 270. And then I will admit 10 Naira, even if I bought like 1 million Naira worth now. So 10 Naira times. So if I bought, or if you bought like, let's say 10,000 unit worth, 10 Naira times 10,000, how much would that be? Now, so now, so assuming I want to buy the MTN. So if I go back here, I say, okay, I want to actually buy MTN. Let's see. Uh, just two, 560 Naira. So I'm going to set price limit, 271 Naira. So it's placed right. But look at, this is the funnest thing. When I was doing, using this platform for, yeah. So look at it, I can remove them anytime I like and all of that. You get it? Check out. So I'm now going to make payment with what? With credit card, or should I transfer new money? Okay, I have some money in my account balance, but is it up to this? If it's not up to it, will not take it. So I say, say, okay, go ahead, confirm. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just doing some practical stuff for you. Uh, what are you saying? Okay, okay, Helen is asking me to put. Okay, do I have up to that? If I do not have, it's gonna say, guy, you cannot. I, I, I do not understand. My money is in my wallet. So why are you taking me to, to this place? I do not need to come here. Come on now, what's it? Transaction is aborted. Oh, I'm the one that boof. Okay, so let me go to my chart. Can you see? 
Because I was the one that put in after checkout and I was, I was thinking about pay with account, no, pay with cash balance. So let's proceed. If I do not have up to that error, insufficient fund, your balance is less. So I can go back and adjust my order, right? So I can make this guy just like uh, 200, okay? Okay, yeah, 200. We'll even take that. Or 250. Can you see now? My money have been adjusted. So check out. Payment. Confirmation. Success. Uh, tell us. I know they tell me anything. Submit, Jerry. Average. Pass mark. Get out. Okay. Now, so look at it. I'm just... Now, today's, I'm just using this to just as I was amplify for you. Now, but ordinarily, like those talk that were there before MTN, look at MTN, how much was it bought? It was bought at 158 Naira per share, right? It was bought at 158 Naira per share. Uh, I wish I can just, okay, let me come up. I hope I will see this date. 100 per share. Okay, if you go to transaction, you're going to see it, right? MTN was listed in 2019, the Nigeria Stock Exchange, at a very dominant, very low price. Now, um, there was somebody that gave money that, you know, helped us to buy some when you make it sold, we share the money and all of that. But like, for the last two years, I've just played around the stock and all of that. And I okay, let me just play the, this thing because I think I was doing training about stock and I show people how money on the air, you can make insane money sitting down in your home. And then imagine at 158 Naira, and right now it's about 280 Naira. That's about 770, 77 point something percent, you know, APY, just buy, and then you still enjoy the dividend. However, you now want to swing the same stock, you can still swing it. Look at swing opportunity here, for instance. Look at my chart. So imagine you have bought shares, Right, you have bought MTN. Right, look at buy and selling opportunity. You look at it, even though it has been trending, you have sold here at about 180 Naira. You bought here at about 158. Okay, look at that 158. And at about 180, you have sold. You bought again back, perhaps maybe somewhere here at 163, and you sold at about 174. Yet you bought here, right? You bought here at about 163 again. And probably you'll be afraid you may get out here at 173. That's the difference between a swing trader. Then probably you bought here. Maybe you didn't even buy on time, but you bought here. At 178, you sold at about $200 Naira. Then it gave you another opportunity. What a big one. Back to that 174 you bought. Perhaps you understand it intricacies here. I know you probably would have bought sold here because of this chart, but you got the support and then you bought back and there you go. Look at it. It's a buying opportunity, eventually up to 261 Naira. And then from there, it still crashes down to about 190 and all of that. Since that 190 now, it has refused. 190, 187 Naira. Now you sold again at 250 Naira back to 224 Naira. Now you bought again, let's say at about 232 Naira. I think I was even telling somebody to buy at 220 Naira or something. Yeah, you bought again and then there you go. You sold at about 284. Probably you wouldn't sell at the 284, but you're going to sell at about 274. Then you have bought again now at about 260. Now you perhaps must have sold around here, 277 or even 283 or 280, give and take. And then you are bought back again. Maybe you didn't buy on time, but you are bought at 270. Mm -hmm. Perhaps could go up more, you know, who knows? Now I'm just showing us all of these for you to know what we do in plan B is not just like making noise to people. We want people to have financial freedom, right? If you go back again, you see 
like Boa cement, for instance, like I'm just uh, just going through them. So this is stock, and this is local stock. Imagine, okay, look at GTB. It was bought expensive, and it came down to twenty something era. And I told some people to buy. Some may not buy. And Boa was bought at seventy sixty seven naira. And now, how much is Boa cement presently? So this Boa cement presently is about how much? About ninety eight naira. So you bought at sixty seven naira is about ninety eight naira right now. So Boa. So let me look at Boa. Boa. Yeah, Boa cement. You know, Boa food is there too. So Boa cement. Can you see? That's a very nice one. <laughs> so when I tell people that you make money, but people don't believe me. Now imagine. Now, if you are even trading Boa, yes, you may not be trading your regular business because you are just a swing trader or need. You don't need to kill yourself over it. Imagine you are bought Boa cement. There was um 2020. You bought Boa cement 2020 at 29 naira. So there's one you buy, you just keep it there. Let it just your dividend to be given to you. But there are some you are buying. Imagine after you bought it at 2020, uh, around about uh, April in June, you have sold at about 42 naira. Then uh, you may not buy here because you are still looking that it may crash down, but eventually you bought here. And in buying here, that's 44 naira, guys. That was 2020, November. And you ride it back to the same 2020, December. Crazy, what's going on? And then you may not sell here, but at this resistance and then retesting confirmation, you'll have sold at 78 naira. You have sold at 78 naira. There are chances that you have bought here and it was aborted. Okay, no problem. The one you bought and it was aborted, you can forget it and then keep it to your portfolio. Then you return back. So this is the one of, one of the things that those of us who are in cryptocurrency, why when we buy some coin, dump, you look for money to add more. If you don't, no problem, you leave it. Over time when it returns. So imagine when you bought here because the chances that you will have bought here. I know why I'm saying that. If you have been plan B and you are following our training, you probably must have bought here. But of course, this was not a good chance to, for you to have bought because there was not a good signal anyway right but let's say you are bought by because you misinterpreted the signal because this was not a good signal now now but you bought and then it crashed down no problem you need a, you have another money right this was a good signal this is one two right now you are bought here or even you didn't buy but you have end up buying here that's about 59 naira so 59 naira there you go pop up and all of that yeah, perhaps now this is it went to 99 era, 100 era rather. And now perhaps you prepare to have sold here, but you have not sold. But at this point, this still got not a good signal. That means it could do what it did here. I can tell you, trust me. Or you could be waiting to say, let me buy at 79 era if you can come down there. So, but can I sell? You may not want to sell because it can come to 79 era or 18 era there, right? And continue the journey maybe creating another all-time high maybe don't put the trigger on my head everybody maybe something like this so how many of you are learning that financial market is not actually supposed to be the way you know people present it to us where you be running around no it's just for you to calm down i know investing in this space is not gambling it's not gambling so let's say that, that means chances are there. Uh, don't say I told you this, okay. Uh, chances are there that the guy, okay, let me look at it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So this is it. And this is what it is. Okay, so chances are there that the guy could do. So that means chances are there the guy could go to 130 naira to 130 something naira. Very possible, right? So what if it happens from now? So let's look at it. This was uh, 2021 to 2022. So maybe from now to next year, it could go to 140 naira. And so you have a chance of buying at 80 naira, go to 140 naira. Maybe even this year, but let's say next year. 
you have added to your portfolio. Now, the one you have bought back since 20, 2021 or 2019, now it's just adding dividend for you. Will you sell it? No, you will not. You would rather be swinging with some fraction and allow the other one to be doing what they are doing. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. I, I must tell you, uh, but the, the where we have problem is that people don't really want to learn, right? People are just interested in immediate gratification. Okay, so that's what it is. That's top for you, where you can be making money, swinging, and then holding your portfolio. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go here. Let's go final before I go to currency market. Mm, okay. I go to currency market. All right, so um, before I go to currency market, uh, let me just share again. Uh, last two weeks, we're doing some, okay, so I'm gonna show you something now. There was a stock I bought yesterday or three days ago, and this is where people don't like to see um, issues, right? People always, oh, my market, what is happening to my business, what's happening? Naturally, market must go up and down, and so you can't rule it out. Now look at it here. This stock, I bought it, just small money, and then I was teaching that day. Um, and then look at it. It has deflated. It went to one point something percent growth. And now it has deflated 0.4 percent lesser, losing about 18 naira. Now you want to, uh, ah, why do I lose? You have to lose. Nobody must take profit in that process. Another person may come in. That's one thing you need to know. And that's why you see that a chart will never be a straight line. It will go up, down, up, down. And then I noticed that there were kind of, um, uh, there were kind of, um, okay. I noticed that there were kind of um, look down in the stock uh, index. It was about six point something last week. So that means for this week, we don't know. Uh, there are a lot of people taking profit. So when we the close of Friday, market we may have a kind of move which is about it's about six point something billion last week but this so far now is about 2.2 billion uh price index and all of that so i'm just showing you all of this for you to know that to build financial freedom is not the jamboree we are playing some of us just uh, gamble and all of that and that's why somebody will just have confidence to tell you that what you are doing is gambling that is not real it's not realistic and all of that because they do not know they do not understand what you are doing part time. So lastly, before I go to the commodity market, is we've been telling people about um, uh, some token, just like you may want to buy ULX. But I, like I told people in Plan B, I said, this is a token called ULX. And we said, we want to see this token. If it can go above 13 cents, then we may go to about 16 or 20 cents. Don't, don't tell anybody I told you this anyway. So, but the point is this, we have been seeing a multiple move. Look at, in the same opportunity, I want to just show you guys something very, very importantly. If you are in plan B or you intend to be part of us, now the same project, look at it, all time I was about 13 cents, which was last year. And then most of us, obedient people in our community anyway, don't tell me ah, I don't have enough money. That's not true. Yeah. When Ponzi come, people borrow money to do it. But when the new project come, people don't even, they look at it, I don't have money, and then they relax. There were opportunity so now in swing trading you buy low and sell high and swing trade you can take like your time frame should be like one hour or daily so let's look at it there was a buy opportunity number one there was a buy opportunity here or oh, let me go here can i see alphabet text okay so one one buy So look at one buy, right? Apart from here, forget this guy. One buy and then up another. This is two buy. This is two buy. Uh, two buy, okay? This is two buy. 
two by that's two. Another by here. Tilly by. Another one here. Okay, another one here. Four by. Then the last one that just happened because perhaps you definitely will have sold up here because I did say to people that once we enter 10 cent, we crash down and then you probably have not bought, but when we broke out, you will have bought at four hours time frame. Now that was another buy. So that is the fifth buy, five buy. Now this is swing trading for instance. Now, so let's quickly look at it. Let me take my ruler, a buy here, This for the six percent. So a buy here. Sorry. This is twenty eight percent. Another buy here. So let me just take this guy. Right. Rise. Thank you. <laughs> this another buy here. Thirty two percent. Okay, so let me take this guy because this guy will not stay. Another buy here, this will say 28%. There's a buy here. Let's just see this one is 32%. So we have 32%, we have 28%, we have 67%, and we have 34% so far. It's already more. We have not sold this one. Because if we look at it here, so far, we have 39%. That's only 28th of last month, July 28th till now. Today is 8th. So that's about 16, 17 days. And there's 39%. Now, this journey started last year. The, the first buy we bought was June last year. All right? was June. Yeah, before the coming to maybe Kumbasong. We bought in around June. And we were farming it. Now, look at it. Good, fine. Now, see what has happened. We bought June last year at 2 cents. That's what majority of us bought. Now at two cents, so let me take care here, right? So at two cents, about two cents. So most people bought at two cents, eight penny. So let me just go by two cents, eight penny. If you're in plan B, you bought this guy at two cents, eight penny. Sorry, sorry. Let me take this guy. You bought it at two cents, eight penny. So I asked people to sell at about 13 cent, okay? So let's say they sold at 10 cent. Forget about the 13. They sold at 10 cent. Where is it? 10 cent. Thank you. That was about 347%. And that was massive, right? Now, 347%. If you have started this game with us, 347, that was last year, June. Now that we have two or one year, two months right now. This is 437. This is uh, 337, uh, 347, 32. So let's quickly look at it. I, I hope somebody is learning and so that you're going to apply one strategy to your business now. After now, you have a change of orientation. So 347, right? 347 plus... 32% plus 28% plus another 32% plus now 39%. So let's call it 38%. So this 477%, see what you do. You may start this journey. That's what you need. That's why you need training. You need to be on private mentorship or our VIP, you know, just to understand some things. Now, look at it. What do you do? You have allocated just $100. Yeah? You have allocated just $100. So let's go there. $100 to have started that journey. Because that's what people should have as an orientation. 
I'm not saying it will be hundred dollar you put, but I'm just saying likely it's possible that you started a journey. Let's say fifty dollars, okay? <laughs> so fifty dollars, fifty dollars, fifty, fifty dollars. So the first move gave you how many percent? Three forty-seven percent. That's about three point. That's three x point four seven. So forty-seven percent. Uh, forty-seven percent should be how many? So let's go this way. Fifty dollars multiplied by zero point four seven. So that gives you twenty-three point two. Then uh, three hundred is one fifty. So plus one fifty, plus one fifty. That is about oh sorry, yeah that's about one seventy eight dollars. So plus your fifty dollars, so one seventy three. One seven three one seven three plus fifty dollars. So that gives you about two hundred and twenty two dollars. So that's pure profit, right? That you bought, and then that now your money is now up to this. See what happened. The next buying. So see your next buying. Your next buy, you are buying with 220 something dollars. So let's say you DCA because we DCA a lot in plan B. Let's say you DCA now on the average cost cost you um so two hundred dollars was what was good to use to buy. So 32% of two hundred dollars. So let's go two hundred dollars. So two hundred dollars multiplied by zero point zero point. Uh, 32, that is 32. So that's $64. So $64 plus $200. So your money is 264. The next is 28%. So let's say you bought 250. So $250, you know, small charges and all of that, multiply by 0 0.2828. You have 70 bucks plus 250. So that's about 320 bucks. So the next buy, you're gonna use $300. So $300 multiplied by now 32%, 0 0.232. That's 96 bucks. That's 396. You use 350, $350 to buy now. Now, so that means this 32, this 32, so that is the last one now. 39. So multiply by so far 38%, 0 0.38. That's $133 plus 350. So your journey of $50 meticulously on, on ULX from last year, from last year, it's about how much right now? It's about 300, uh, 400 and something dollars. Okay, sorry. Yeah. We got, uh, uh, okay, well, we got about 400 and something dollars. Now that was your journey. That's one side. Good? <laughs> Look at it. The same thing, now while you are doing swinging, look at another thing that you will have done. You come in. Look at it here. So why, why most time we tell people that money is actually not your problem. There's a mindset we have that is not allowing us to settle down and follow the right move. That's why I told people, slow is fast and fast is slow. Yes, fine, when you start the business, it's gonna be boring. That's the truth. It's gonna be boring. Why will it be boring? Because you will have needs. But are you actually walking towards financial freedom? If the answer is yes, you're going to bury your need. That's the truth. I, I can tell you that for free. You're gonna bury your need. Because of what purpose will it be that you're complaining you have a need and all of that, and you are not free? So why don't you work for your freedom first? That's why I would say five years to financial freedom by digital asset accumulation. Okay, so let me go back here and just show you something. So now, people who have started the journey, um, um, I was experimenting about six months ago, a few months ago. Was it? Uh, okay, let me go here. Few months ago, come in just a moment. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I love this man. 
God. I'm sure somebody is really, really learning now. So you need to have a perception, a different dimension, approach, understanding to this market that it's not the heat and run people are doing in the space. No, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is to work out modality. Good. 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 I just want to show you guys something. Okay, so I want to share my screen here. Okay, so now look at it. Now, 50 bucks, about three or six months, let me say six months, five, six months ago, I was teaching just like this and I did experimentation on the, the same token farming, which is ULS farming. And look at it, the same token, $50 was sent in to, $50 was sent in to um, do the farming. And after like, four or five months, I didn't have time to check it. And so it was last week I checked and I saw that the accrual, right? The accrual was already um, $98 or something, 90 something, no, 80, $82, 80 to $82. And now the basic was $102. Eventually as the price was going up, you know, I saw that, okay, it was 110, the base, which was the $50 invested. And then the accrual was $90. So I have to harvest it and recompound it. And look at what it has given now. That was two days ago was when I recompanded. When I recompanded, it was $200. So that means that capital base of $200 now is now 209 But where did the capital base start from? From $50. Now, this is 209 Within three days, three days, let us take three days or so, what has accrued is 10 point something, which is about $1.3. In Nigerian era, how much is that? How much is that in Nigeria? So 800 and, 894 Naira multiplied by, yeah, so if you calculate it, 894 Naira multiplied by, <laughs> my goodness, this is crazy, guys. Um, 894, 94 multiplied by uh, 1.36, 1.36. So that's 1,200 Naira. So even let's say a fuel of liter is 1,000 error. So that means within three days, I'll come, I have made fuel for uh, money for one liter of fuel. So that means in one week, you can do $3 or $4. So if you do $3 in one week, I'm just, so one week, so $3 multiplied by 894 error. So that's about 2,000 error in a week. That is, I'm just giving an example. I was chatting with somebody from part of our community members who is in um you know in the UK and he was telling me, oh, thank God, you know, he was just happy, thanking God and all of that. What happened? He said he's he, he saw like one of his farming in the in the ULX is making an average of $50 per week. Oh, yeah, per week. So $50 per week on that person. So in Nigeria Naira, 890, let us call it 890. So that means making 44,500 Naira per week. So multiply by four weeks, that means making 178,000 Naira per, per month on his ULS family alone. I wouldn't know what was his capital, but I'm sure his capital is not big enough. Because if it's big enough per week, it will to be too small. Because I know on average, if your capital is on average of, let's say, $1,000 to $3,000, let's say average of $2,000 plus, you should be making average of, um, let's say, should be making average of, don't look at the dollar because what we're accumulating is the coin. But if you want to even look at the dollar, you should make an average of about um, maybe 70 to $130. Yeah, if your money is average of um, uh, 2000 3000 So if you're making $130 per week, for instance, $130 per week multiplied by four, that would be about $520 per month. So now multiply by, <laughs> so let's say $500 per month. Multiply by $590, uh, $890 Naira. I mean, that's 445,000 Naira. That's someone's salary. I, mean, I can count number of people in Nigeria that earns that salary in government power status. I'm not talking about politicians. So you can now see why when we're telling people, you have to open your eye to understand things. 
Okay, so that's that about the, you know, we have a lot of things when you have to do with crypto, but you are diversifying. So what about the currency market? I was telling somebody now, today in the currency market, you don't need to kill yourself to be able to buy and sell the currency market. That's the reality. You do not need to. I'm sorry. So what then do I actually need to do? Very simple. It's just to leverage following people. Hmm, this guy has really, come on, Euro, JPY. I'm sorry. I was looking at, did I told them selling opportunity? Oh gosh, is this training that taking me off balance that I was Euro JPY. Woo! Euro JPY. That was a very massive sell. Lovely, lovely sell. Lovely, lovely sell. Euro JPY. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. Man, this is crazy. Euro JPY, Euro JPY. And then the indicator to have said that, that sell, that was nice. And um, Euro JPY. And I think it's still going to crash down the more. This is lovely. Now, this is just like, um, you know, you know, robots helping you to tell you when to sell, when to buy. So, but some of us who have been trading and you learn more, it's just an edge for you. Just give you an edge. What's the edge? The edge is this. You have already seen the price reversing for like me. I already saw it because I told people that this will sell from, but I was not really having time to monitor the trade for them, right? So, but I was telling them this will sell the market from one, 57 point something. Yeah, so I think data does not lie. Let me go here. Dude. Look at what we're saying. Buy opportunity coming soon. Uh, USD uh, CHF, I'd actually computed the wrong figure here. But here, then selling opportunity were more. You can read Euro JPY 157.601 to 1.5. That is a buy. Um, then one is three point this GDY uh, JPY. And then USD card and then GB AUD. More, more time to decide. All right. So, but these three were, of course, nice. So now you could see. The journey. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. So if I quickly go back here, everybody. So that's um Euro JPY. Euro. So we're not in currency, just like I'm not teaching you anything in currency, just to show you how in plan B we diversify. So Euro JPY. So, so far for anyone who probably, yeah, which I actually told them. So if you're watching live, those of us in our community trading, don't be at all at all because I was busy and I told you guys, wait, but I gave you as a watch list and uh, wait for us to know if we are going to crop in to that market. So uh, people who bought, if anyone who bought uh, this, let's just see from here. Are you serious? No, this is not true. You mean like something peeps? I can't believe that. No, wait, 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 wait. Something is wrong somewhere. What happened to me? Guys, can you see the sacrifice I'm actually doing? I'm not complaining anyway. 95 peeps? Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? So you can see. Uh, the guy has actually clumped, and it's still going to go down anyway, right? Because it just crossing below the moving average. That's 50 MA. It's already down there. So uh, if you can flip down, that's going to give very much good profit for people. So, but we have a head on here. 
So, but you will now need to see it crossing below 155. It can cross below 155 to give this kind of bottom jump. That would be a good deal. So, ladies and gentlemen, so what we do in plan B is to expose people to opportunity. There's so much money on the air that you can make, but you need to learn. You need to be carried along in basics and all of that. So, so the final place is actually the currency market. And you could see what we're doing in the currency market. We started a journey, right? We started a journey. My goodness, this is crazy. I didn't know, man. I was busy. Hmm. Gold is cropping down. What's happening? Gold is crashing down. Okay. So can you find support? I, I'm afraid he has to go back to 1916. Yeah. Ooh, BTC is pumping up, man. So you can, wow, wow. That was a nice one. So you can see BTC uh, have this. Wow, that was a nice one. That was a nice one for BTC. Good guy, good guy. He's helping itself. It's just that's just guy just raging. But that's a critical point for the guy there at 30,000 to enter to the shell again. But who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. We don't care. You know, whatever he's doing, that's the essence of diversification. If I do not make money to enter a good trade at a good time, I have my farming and my staking and other things that are going to be giving money. You cannot see why it's so important to look at diversification so much. Okay, this guy is building up Euro GBP. I'm looking at it across here. If you cross here, uh, in fact, better cross over here, then I can just buy into. But I don't like buying to into the middle of a market. This market I've been holding us hostage for things. Uh, want to see what journey is going to do. That is. Uh, AUD, AZD, right? Now, so basically look at, this is what we're doing in the currency market. Maybe I'll just share with you on do's and don'ts we give to people. Now, the market is about understanding the basic psychology. Currency market is not like the, for, uh, the, this, the crypto and the stock. What you need to understand about the currency market is trend and not a cycle. So you need to understand which trend is it returning to now and all of that because you are buying against one currency to other. The strength of this currency losing to the strength of this currency. So you are buying the strength of this against the weakness of this. So if you go and buy the weakness against the strength of another, then that's going to be a big headache for you. So you can ask you why it's always good you learn why and how to buy the strength using the strength to get the weakness of another currency. Now for we, it's so easy for us to sit down and be looking at charts and all of that and reading all that detailed news and stuff like that. So basically where we make money on the, the currency market, you buy it into crypto. Now, lastly, one of the joy things is that you have, number one, in the currency market, it's not the way you used to see it before. Look at what we do now. We are doing community trading, number one. Number two, we are brokers that we use tools on it, like I showed us about the a lifetime indicator just now, a real-time indicator just now. So we installed that indicator on a very fantastic broker called Admiras. So like I'm in Admiras. Now Admiras is, um, is an international broker, right? So that combine not just uh, trading on uh, trading on um, you know the currency market, but at the same time trading on the stock market. Now the stock market activities. Uh, let me see if I can log in here. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Oh man. man, man. Yeah. 
That's why I would tell friends is you don't need to complain at all because there's so much way to make money. And by now, you should not be wasting your money into the hands of Ponzi developers. You should be independent in the market now. Taking advantage of the tools, you know, artificial intelligence, things you thought is difficult, you just need somebody to hold you by your hand and show you that what you are looking for can be gotten here rather than wasting your resources to funny people and all of that. It's, it's, it's not worth it. I can tell you for free. It's not worth it. You will settle down and look at the energy, the time, the money you have wasted for the past. You will see that you will have better yourself. The, the biggest investment you can do or keep to yourself today is investment in yourself. You need to invest in yourself. But that's one of the areas where people are not much interested in. Once you are telling them you need to do like this, uh, enroll, get learned, and all of that. Ah, they say, no, I'm too busy. I'm working in share. I'm working in Chevron. I'm working in all of those things, right? So this, like, this is stock market. Sometimes they can give you the idea, you know, some recommendations and just like, oh, Amazon still stays crazily on top of that 142 Naira. I, I did told people to buy this stock. If you are listening to me, maybe uh, like I think uh, Mr. Smith said that he saw that the guy re refused to come down. Neo, now, then this is a stock you can buy. Lovely thing, you are buying international stock in Nigeria without leaving Nigeria. Before you can see beautiful stock, but you can buy because you don't have a platform to buy international stock. But there, here you are. You now have a platform, Admiras where you can buy international stock. So I expected the guy to come down to $12 support range or $13, $12, and eventually $10 or $9. So, but it's still struggling up there, but I think I expect it to come down. Yeah? So, yeah, I expect that guy to come down. Whatever time it takes, but it should come down. So, but if you refuse, where you buy, you can buy some fraction and wait for the coming down or even set your price at a low down and leave it there. Now, the question you never, never ask me is that, Felix, why are you interested in new? Now, I'm interested in new, number one. It's a kind of competitor to uh, Tesla now because it's an electric something. There are so many futures, okay? Now, we may not be able to go into them. I'm not doing stock analysis for you, but it just tell you, you are, like when we buy a coin, why am I interested in a particular coin? Because of the narrative around the coin, and then, you know, we leverage on so many informations around the coin. Now, let me go to show you NEO. NEO was all time has $3. And of course, one thing, one thing, because it's a Chinese company, all right? But it's listed on, on uh, New York Stock Exchange market. And then, you know, during the trade war, Chinese, America, and all of that, there are so many things around it. And you could see that the stock, I started trading this stock from two naira, $2, sorry. Yeah, that was in 2019 or thereabout. You could see the journey. That was a very sweet one. You could see my chart those those time. And then the guy has moved. Now you could see that the guy find a very nice support here. Right? And now I'll be riding back. Of course, my indicator has even told me is bullish. All this while. This is weekly. And then telling me, guys, that's right. Now we can have small correction down, you know. So you can of see. Uh, what I said, ten dollar, nine dollars, and all of that. So if you come there, fine. If you didn't, no problem. So eventually we'll cross over before we enter the real bull time of it. But look at the all-time high, about almost seventy dollars, about sixty-six to sixty-seven dollars. So now, if eventually over the years, maybe from now to next year, crosses that sixty dollars, my benchmark from now to twenty twenty-five is an average of about one hundred and fifteen dollars or one hundred and twenty-nine dollars, possibly. Now, I don't put the trigger on my head because I'm not the owner of the company, but understand that we take advantage of information, hacking onto them and act as much as possible. So you can now see why we, in our platform that we have, um, what is it called, uh, Admirers. So it allow us to trade, not just, um, we're not just trading Forex there alone. We trade stock and not just trading stock CFDS, we trade stock in fractional value, meaning you can buy stock. Okay, let me just check because I was experimenting. So somebody sometime and I show them the the this one. Okay, let me look at it. 
yeah, I experimented. Um, I bought uh, maybe one unit and show them how you can be bought. Look at investment account. Okay. Okay. New. I think uh, portfolio. Okay, so so you can see uh, okay, if I show you the statement, okay, sorry. Now just ju that's just what it is anyway, to show you how you can buy stock, international stock, why in Nigeria. It used to be very big headache. Because those days we use bamboo, sometimes they say they have one issue. The good news again is that this is a broker that is about to get Nigerian stock into their platform where you can trade independently. You just feel detailed, they give you your CFCS, CFCS form, you feel and all of that. And then you'll be in your house and be trading your stock, <laughs> trading yourself, right? So how will you feel if I ask you to buy stock from stock that have moved uh, for uh, how many percent? So stock have moved so crazily. Uh, Stock that is supposed to be getting about how many percent here? Yeah. Okay, let me show you guys something. Why you need to be very serious with your business? Look at people are people are not gambling. So if people could be doing this, look at like a message I received from one of the platform. Look at it. What's this? All right. Uh, the debt management office at DBMO on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria has announced the August editions of the federal government saving bonds. Right summary issuer, federal government of Nigeria. The issuer, the offer, offer for subscription of uh FGN saving bond due August 7th. That was yesterday, and then uh, and August 2026, 10 of two years and two years, three years, interest rate 9.634 to 10.634 annually. Interest payment, payable quarterly. Redemption, bullet repayment at the maturity uh, date, right? Unit of sales, 1,000 per unit. So that means you don't have any complaints. <laughs> Minimum subscription, 5,000 error in multiples of 1,000. Right, maximum subscription 50 million era. Right, opening date August 7th. Right, closing date 11th. So, you can see this opportunity. I'm just showing you now. I'm not supposed to share with you. Settlement date August 16th. Coupon payment date uh, November 16th, February 16th, May 16th, August 16th. You know, in that order. Right now, security the bond is backed by the full faith and credit of the federal government of Nigeria. Then the listing is uh, Nigerian uh, Exchange Limited, NGX, and all of that. So the attached is the subscription form for the field uh, to be filled uh, and your bank detailed to find your account, uh, to fund your account. So we advise all forms are submitted on or before noon on Friday to enable timely submission to the DMO to create a stock broken account please click here yalla, yalla, yalla. good so i'm just showing you now so um you can now see if people are investing like this i don't think it's too bad when you buy into a coin or you are even trading your fx and you want to rush and make 100 percent in a day 100 percent in a week or yes if opportunity come to make that money there's nothing bad about that but you must focus that the parameter you are using is to build wealth. And let me just show you, I, I sent a message to our group of um, traders. Yeah, the community trading. You may want to see this. Yeah, okay, I think it's here. You may want to see this. Okay, there's no need for you to see it because you are not part of the community. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that's how we make money. We we'll do we'll diversify. Can I see? I took around, you know, the crypto markets, the stock market, 
the currency market. The question you need to ask, how do I get part of it? If you are watching me live, how do I get part of this? Number one, we run Academy in Plan B. But I always tell people the first place you start from in Plan B is to go to the free platform. And what are the free platform? We have the, the, the WhatsApp group, it's free for everybody. We have the Telegram group, that is the cash flow system, it's free for everybody. So what can you do? You can be part of it, you know, it's free for you. You can ask, you know, chat whoever invited you and say, okay, I want to be added to Plan B, cash flow system, or the Telegram. So you can be part of the Telegram, that's number one. Number two, you'll be following us Tuesday like this, Sundays is still free. Number three, you are in Portal Court. You want to come to the office, you can come to make inquiry, you know, maybe get one or two information. We're always there like that. Then number th number four, of course, you will mean business. You want to be very serious. <laughs> that means you want to enroll. That's the truth. You want to enroll uh, in Plan B to learn the basic how we do the thing. Number three, uh, number five, having enrolled, you want to subscribe to not just the learning, but subscription. And that's why we have a private mentorship, which costs you $5,000 in one lifetime, one lifetime, $5,000. And then everything, you can see what you have there. Um, you may want to go to the uh, the VIP, the Bill With Me, which you have to spend $1,500 every year. Of course, it's worth it uh, if you know what you're doing. Or you want to go into Plan B Robotic Hybrid Swing Trading. Uh, this cost you maybe 750 every year or 500 or something like that. Yeah. Okay, 500 yearly. Okay. So you perhaps want to go to the Crypto Academy to learn. So like you want to get stock, tokenized stock, stock trading and all of that. This is $750 yearly. All right. What to be part of it. Now, look at it for this thing. Then you want to be part of a low gem and pump hunt. I think this costs you $500 per year or $750 per year, right? So you want to go for market call and spot trading. I think this costs you $250 per year or something. Yeah, something like that, right? Then you have the, of course, the free activities. But the lovely thing is that now you want to be part of the academy. Of course, you need to learn. And then you are going to have basic $150 intermediate advanced and masterclass. Now, this is the gist. The gist is that if you're on private mentorship, all of those things is free for you. <laughs> if you're in private mentorship, everything is top, you are there. Robotic, you are there. Um, portfolio builder, you are there. Everything, you are there. But I don't I do not have $5,000. Okay, and then go and enroll in basic. I would advise you, okay, I don't have $5,000. How do I do? Uh, you can enroll in basic and intermediate, which is $150. 150 and 300, that's 450. Then that will not take you to come to probably go to portfolio builders. So portfolio builders will cost you about either 300 or 500 dollars per year. So that means under $1,000, you have achieved what you want to achieve. Okay, $400 per year. Now, the good news again is this. We're starting a training. If you're in portal code, you are at advantage. And after the offline, we're going to do online. We're doing hybrid course. Hybrid course is that we're going to take from basic, intermediate, advanced, and master class to hybrid to people and give you an advanced training on focusing on the market itself, how to enter to the market, get the market, diversify your portfolio, and all of that. Those are the things you're going to be taught. What do I need to be successful in the market? What tools do I need to get and all of that? Guess what? This is hybrid together, and the course is going to take two weeks, and then which we are starting on the 21st of August, that is this month, and 21st of August, for and it will run the, that week of the August, the last week of August, and the first week of September, which will cost you just $200. Guess what? We're going to take you to both the forest market, the crypto market, as well as part of the stock. <laughs> That's crazy. Now we have the money section time for Forex, which is about um, from 10 to 12, if I'm mistaken. And then we have the next class from 1 to 3 p.m., which is the crypto and then vis-a-vis -vis the stock market. So if you're in Port Harcourt, I think this is not a thing to miss, seriously. <laughs> and I told some person, if you think you know so much now, and yet you are still battling, I think just humble yourself. $200 is not gonna kill you. After all, many of us have lost thousands of dollars in deposits. Why don't you help yourself once and for all and get the right thing to be done? But before that, 
get access to all the free talk is and now you want to be part of our community trading what you need uh, number one you activate your admiral account and fund you see how the grace for this week and fund minimum of hundred dollars in your admiral account number one number two you're going to have uh your 10 trade created and you fund with minimum of hundred dollars guess what without hundred dollars you can be you now apply for funded account of three thousand dollars how about that and where you trade, we're going to tell you what it takes when you are trading and using it and all of that. Then, of course, you want to subscribe for the read time signal. It costs $50 now for now. I can tell you what it costs normally is $500. But we're doing this for our community. We started last week, two weeks ago, we we're giving that $25. But from today, it's now $50. So maybe from next week, before we finish the two weeks training, it will be $150 before eventually we'll take it back to $500. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I have for you in this today's edition of Plan B Special Business Combo. I'm sure you have questions, as well as those of you who are just joining us for the first time. Why don't you feel free? Make use of the chat box. Type what you want to ask on the chat box. And then I'm going to respond to you one after the other. Or you can put up your digital hands. And then you're going to be given uh, a room to ask questions. Okay, somebody say, uh, is it right to invest in ULS farming? Okay, is it right to invest in ULS farming? Yes, it's right. Okay. Okay, so it's right. But I'm sure this your question is not complete. Maybe you want to say, is, the, is, it, is it the right time now? Maybe that's what you want to ask. Is it the right time now to invest in ULS farming? Yeah, it's the right time. <laughs> Anytime you wake up is actually your good money. But the best time will have been since last year. But is it right now? Yes, why not? Because if you say no, now who knows what the price may be in the next two weeks? I don't know, right? Now, what would the price be in the next two weeks? Number one, the price could come down to, uh, look at it, the price could come down to nine cent, very possible, or 10 cent. Nine cent, eight cent, ten cent, very possible, right? The price could as well go the next one month could as well go to twenty cent. So, what disadvantage have I done myself without have invested now? Number one, you're going to use that money to buy Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Number two, it's very likely that uh, that money you will use it for another thing, and that thing may not even be pleasant to you eventually. So what I tell people about when it has to do with investment, you are building your financial freedom. Anything you do, you have done it, you are looking for how to do other things. And so for right time to invest, why not? You can go ahead now. But the best time will have been since last year. But have I stopped investing? Absolutely no. Because why? You can see like, you check my account on uh, OKS, right? You check my account on OKS, you see CFC buy Ethereum, buy ARB. Why? Do I not have Ethereum? I do. Do I not have ARB? I do. So, but I'm just buying this one. This one may now form another thing for me, not necessarily the one I want to use for whatever, whatever, whatever. Make sense? So that's one of the things. So you can see he bought Ethereum for me at how much? Average of 130, one, $1,834. And Ethereum now is $1,845. Now he bought ARB. Let's check ARB. ARB. So it could be that eventually, okay, he bought ARB at the price of how much? He bought ARB at the price of $1.141. And now ARB is $1.148 or thereabout. So just understand this. So anytime you wake up, is actually your good money. And then so I'll tell people, I said, if I want to yet now, as it's buying and selling for me now, if I want to swing ARB, I could as well go ahead and buy at this price now. And target to see that okay, ARB. Let's look at it. ARB, ARB. Okay, so I was where by ARB now, maybe at this price, for instance, and then look at how to sell ARB perhaps at one dollar. Yeah, at one dollar twenty cent. Yeah, okay, so if I decide to buy ARB now at one dollar twenty cent. How much would that be? How many percent would that be for me? Okay, that's about 
Okay, so I can as well still buy and then sell or buy ARB and just hold until when I see ARB return back to where it came from before. That is about um, how much? One dollar what? Sorry about that. Thank you. There we go here. ARB. Okay, so maybe at about one dollar thirty cent. So why not? So I will have done about thirteen percent. Good. Okay, so anytime you wake up, it's a good morning. So any other question, anyone? We feel free to ask questions and use the chat box. Uh, yeah, use the chat box or put up your digital hands and then you'll be given the privilege to ask questions. Okay, so without questions, thank you very much everyone uh, for attending this meeting. And so it's Felix and it's Plan B Express. It's about financial freedom, it's about stock, it's about crypto about currency market so do enjoy your day have a nice time so those of you who are on our live community trading uh i drop those things if i were you you would do an assignment on it so this is an assignment you should do on it ordinarily as i give those list of those coins you want to look at it let me just quickly open one of them if i can see um okay uh euro jpy has done so massive so let's look at usd card so let me look at usd card usd card USD card. Where are you? USD card. Okay, here is you. Oh, Jesus Christ. The guy is over. The guy is gone. Oh, God, God, God. USD card. Dude. No, forget about the USD card. There's nothing to do there. Oh, you have to wait. Our waiting in USD card is going to take more time. Uh huh. You can see. Uh, it's about 1.4, 1.34. I was saying we're waiting till 1.36 something. Um, GBP JPY. I'm sure that one too must have done what you want to do. GBP JPY. Okay, GBP, GBP JPY. So we say it was a selling opportunity. Let's look at it for instance. GBP, JPY, we say, okay, from um, 183.214 to 183.181.500. And where is it now? So 183, okay. So uh, this guy, I think he need to break this place. So if I were you, 181.500, is it there? So maybe somewhere here, 181.500. So maybe I'll have to wait for good confirmation so that it will bounce back. I'll actually wait for the third candle to be printed in red, right? This one with tail, and then the next one. Then we can say, okay, we can write back, back to, let's look at it. This guy forming from here, somewhere here. Then we go here, yellow, yellow, yellow. Are you kidding me? That's about 140 something people. So I'll just like target like 100 pips on it, right? I think I will stay with this guy. I will watch this guy <laughs> when he crossed below the 50 moving average. I'm going to buy. I'm going to sell, okay? I think that was the instruction. Uh, that was the instruction. Yeah, to sell, yeah. Selling list. So AUD card and, uh, okay, so let's look at the AUD card. AUD card, where are you? Come over. No, 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 no. Oh, AUD card now have started showing some swagalicious movement. So um, what do we say? AUD card, okay, 86974-87319. Oh, it has actually, <gasps> however, you know, it still creates some uncertainty, but of course, oh my goodness. So it actually came down, see, it's got, 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 see, wow. it's good, it's good, 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 good. Oh, it's okay. So, but of course, I need to be careful about this guy because the pressure on that guy was so much, right? So, but now let's look at if it crosses. Um, crosses here. So from here to here will be 
that's not much, just 30 something pips. I don't like this type of trade anyway. I like big trade. All right, so let's look at you. Uh, this guy is over. It has done what you want to do. Uh, USDCHF. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Uh, okay, the guy props shop, top, 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 top. But there's something here, guys. So if you're watching live, and then those of us in our ecosystem, there's something you need to do here. But man, 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 I'm seeing something very big coming, okay? Uh, you can continue to do an uptrend. Yeah. If you continue to do an uptrend, that was going to be a good one. Look at what I want to do. Look at what I want to do. I want to see this guy. This for our time frame. So I want to see this guy. Come on, get out of this place. Crossing above here. That's eight seven nine three. You know, go maybe eight eight and retest back. So I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be doing a buy. So that means I can still do like hundred pips, or even if it's eighty pips. Is okay. No, let's say here 70 pips. So I'm going to be targeting this guy. Okay. So you may take note if you're watching me live um, to look at um, USD CHF. So let me even look at it here for baby pips. Where are you? Are you out of this place? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. All right. So let's look at some um, USD CHF. USD CHF. USD CHF. Um, so let's take it about four hours. Four hours. Mm, so it's having the very, uh, the, the resistance. So once it's over from that place, I perhaps you can see undecided, you know why? So look at it here. You needed to cross over here to decide where are you going to. If you didn't cross here, then it's gonna look down. So. Two things I'm looking at is that I look down, uh, but good chance of better for me. Yeah. So that's one of the things. And um, shit, okay. where's this guy? So this guy has done his job. So AUD card said something peeps from where it is. It's not a big one. Uh, so it's always a very squeezed trade sometimes. It does not really have a very nice smooth trade. All those why. So I'd rather stay aside than, than gambling the market and then get flogged. <laughs> okay. So that's what it is. And um Okay, so guys, thank you very much for your time. And um, like I said, I was gonna be looking at USDCHF for all I care. So let me just check something uh, if I have some. Oh, time is gone much. Okay, let me look at um, US oil. Ooh, te, 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 te. I missed out of this what by one twenty I'm going to be risking gold, but don't follow me because it can be very risky, okay? I'm going to be risking gold and uh, US oil. Let's look at crude oil. Uh, crude oil. 
Good, good. So I'm going to be targeting crude oil at 79 point. Hmm? I mean, yes, US oil. Seventy nine points. From seventy nine point six four to seventy nine point seven eight, give and take. So you have to be waiting. So that this is a waiting. Crude oil. Yeah. So gold, where is gold? Mm, 1924 actually came down seriously. So and retest and then regain back the strength over here at 120. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My screen's not showing. I'm very sorry. Are you guys are missing this analysis, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Ah, 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 sorry about that. Uh, because we have closed anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I never knew. I never knew. Oh, I'm really, really, really sorry. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Oh gosh. What? 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 Sorry about that. That's about since uh, 205, right over eight minutes plus. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I was just telling us about you know, some of those things I dropped. I was busy. And then I actually want us to look at it that I was going to be risking. Uh, crude oil. I'm not asking you to buy. It's going to be very, very volatile and risky. So, but I'm going to risk it and then ride it back maybe to the same 1942 that I did before, or 1940 exactly, at 120, uh, 1926, there about. Then at the same time, oil, crude oil, right? Uh, I want it to come down to, um, it's a continuous trend. That does the thing. So, but you can retest here, and if I'm, not, if I'm not careful, I may not be able to get it because it may just return back again because it's just getting bullish day by day. The target for the oil, I've told us from when it was $74, I said we're going to, when it was 60, $60 something dollars, got to $74 or $71 or no $74, I will say we're going to $91 or thereabout. So there are some persons who have been on that trade since that 70 something. Even when it tests here, there was a good support here. It bounced again. They are still on. So imagine such person who have been on. Okay, imagine this person who have been on, on crude since 74, thereabout. That's about 800 and something pips. That is from July 11 to now. So less than one month. So I'm going to be risking gold. And I said CHF has already done what I want to do, but I want to still look at that's USD CHF. USD CHF. It has done what you want to do, but at the break of this guy and the test, I'm going to buy. So I can just do like, um, how many pips? 70 pips and get out of the place. Because if you look at it, it's free up. So until you get over here, perhaps start having hiccup here. So, but you want to cross this to be very sure. Now, of course, a lot of people can risk, you know, I was at least a part of the thing of buying opportunity, but uh, I was busy guys. So that's what it is. So CHF, 
USDC chair, be it um, the peers I want to look at. Ah, I love BTC. BTC is a bad boy. <laughs> so, but he's going to still have his hiccup at about 30,000 if you get there. That's if you get there. That is the, that's the problem. So, but you can see the breakout of BTC from here. So, for instance, for I'll watch it too long, I will have taken over from this after breaking a retest here at about 29,128. I think I have a long position open since. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's still on. I've not even closed it. I don't even go there. Okay. So I think I was just explaining all of those things and then what we said. And say, okay, AUD card. Now, some people after they sold the one we did last week, they entered back, but of course it pulled back and then it wants to continue the journey. And um, but AUD card is the movement is choky. Which other thing? Okay, it's been a while. I've not checked natural gas. Because sometimes you ignore some of those commodity. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> this is not good, Felix. Oh, wow. Felix, you have not really done well. I've been, been a while. I've not checked natural gas. Come on. Man, man, man. After they pull down, I think I just wrote it and then. Close up, church, 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 no problem. That was on the 3rd of August. That was a very good buy. I love end-to-end -end trading. Guess what, please, Plan B. Please um, make sure everybody you are, that on that on our forum, the um, community trading, make sure you read that document that sent to us, cautions and conditions you have to be obeying. Now, there is nothing as good as those end-to-end -end trade. You see the trend in between, I do not just like it. Like. It broke here. I do not just to like it. Now, this is a good retest, however, it was a good retest. But like trying to buy a market or sell a market that maybe break here, it could do this. It could do some kind of funny move here and then continue the journey. I, I love this end to end. No matter how it truncates you, it will not stop you out. And over time, it will just break and go its journey. Look at here. Yeah. So the you know it, can, it did a kind of double top, but it was looming that this guy was going down, right? And then eventually, and then we're down, right? Even this movement from here to here was a good money for you because it was like end to end. Look at it. This is this, and then let's say you never enter. So this is a very good. Uh, this point, this fifty something pips is okay for you, right? Now, if you're riding it back from here. For, for like for all I can, Felix, Felix may not ride this market. It's very, very possible. I would rather leave it and wait. And yeah, you could say, oh, that was a good peep you left on the table. I like to be in trade without being under pressure. So, but let's see somebody who ride it from here. Perhaps uh, he has closed somewhere here. That's something. How many peeps? 144. So let's see at the here. 111 pips, I think it's okay. So, but I love this type of market. This is one, two. So perhaps I may not have entered from here, but look at my oscillators. I've told me it's okay. I will start stacking from here, very possible. That means I'll start stacking from here, yeah? And then go all food from here. Yeah, when it got here, it's insignificant because there's a support line here. Now look at it, this is a four hour time frame. So now look at this. If you look at it, I start stacking, I start coming in here, I start from here. So let's say at this point you are watchful, but look at the type of candle you come out here. You don't need to bother yourself because you know that. So, but at this point you are careful. Come on, this is 199 pips, guys. Now for people who are very die-hearted, who have done 200, but at least one night something or one sixty something pips, okay for you from where you entered from, right? And then now, what are you waiting for? So let's look at it. I have to go by daily time frame to check if this market is going to retrace for me to know and know what I should what I should prepare for. So let's look at it. Will this guy retrace from where it is now? Chances are there that it will retrace. One, two, three. So, but it may still go a little bit up, right? So what then should I wait for? I have to wait for a good confirmation that this guy touches up here, right? Perhaps he may do what he did here. 
Then that means it could go to 2.9, give and take. So, but I want to wait because this candle is so heavy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so should I short now? That does not really make any sense. That what what will happen if this guy just break it? That's what happened to why we were stopped out of this of this other guy. So if you break out here, can you see, guys? This is madness. That's why sometimes you go and enter trade and continue. See, if you look at daily time frame, what are you seeing? See the journey up now. 300, uh, 3.5, 3.7, and 5 point something. So they are just waiting. Look at it, daily time frame, tam, tam, tam. I look at it, this one was higher here. Now look at it, this is the journey. Now, if it crosses here and retests, forget it, you don't need to short. You have to now watch a retest here, and then that's why you need to do top to bottom, bottom to top kind of review. So for me, Felix, natural gas, it was out of my hands, so I can't do anything about it because I already missed it. So once you miss a trade, don't bother yourself, just leave it, let it go, and look for another one. You can see that the guy is actually preparing to continue the journey. I can tell you that. So, but you have to, now you can see it continued up. Ordinarily, if I want to go in, I will have to wait for this guy to come down and I see the propeller. So this is what happened to us. We were stopped out of AUD or oh, Euro AUD, Euro AUD. And that's why trading of confirmation, oh, the guy has not even rested, has not rested. So there was no chance that it just, it's just cooling off a little. <laughs> the guy is just cooling off a little. Yeah. So look at what he did here. Yeah. So at this point, look at this guy. You no, know, you know, come back here. Now, let me just show you something. Pause two, and then the third one, Zan, it crosses it. And then let's go by daily time frame and see what the guy is actually up to. Can you see? The guy is actually supposed to have rested, but what is it proving? And you can see my chart. You can see my line up here. The guy has broken this. He's just retesting this. That means you'll be looking at this journey up to 1.7 this thing. Yeah? Now, somebody will say, okay, why don't I just come in? I want to see it bouncing off this line. I want to see it bouncing off this line. Without bouncing off this line, forget it. I won't come in. So if you bounce off this line and consolidate on it, then that means chances are there for me to like take up to 198. So even if you're not up to that, so chances are there for me when it bounce off here. So let me just say from here, where I'm very, very optimistic, 160 pips. You can ask see why for you to enter a very good trade, you need some good weighting, right? You need some good weighting because when this is daily time frame. What can you see? See something, everybody. There's something you're supposed to see here. Let me show you something. What's that? Inverse, inverse what? Head and shoulder, right? This is daily time frame. Then, so what happened? It has crosses the neckline. That's why the journey continue, right? And then you get to the leg again, I want to cover about. So it's now like higher. So that means the journey up here is too much. If you look at it, let me go back. You will ask me, Feli, where do you put this your line from? See where I brought the line from. See area of interest here. It's too far. It's not significant. Don't worry. By the time it teach you lesson, you will know that it's very significant. So that means this guy have, I'm sorry. So that means this guy, can you see the journey? <laughs> Can you see, guys? This is crazy. See, it he crosses there. Trouble. Now, this is daily time frame. So that means you are looking at the next place here. Let me just take my horizontal line. Now, sometimes people just jump into the market without looking at the antecedent. There are so many story around some movement, right? So let me just go over here. Perhaps this gap. Now, when this gap is covered, what do you see? See the journey, guys. Go. <laughs> the 
This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. 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 Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. So after this guy, so I have to wait for it to consolidate here. So imagine after the consolidation here and you're able to ride, it will have a stoppage. They gave me the pullback, but real traders who have been in here, you know, they will not be the tar. Now here, 580 pips. And the person is going to be done for the trade for maybe for the week or for the month and all of that. All right, guys, thank you very much for your time. And so those of us who are on the community trading, please go and read that note I sent to us. It's very, very important. Um, so that we get prepared as much as possible. We need to get out of this circle of poverty and then we need to solve the problem of Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme people should run away. Ponzi scheme people should run away. Thank you very much, everyone. My name again is Midas Fulgimo. I'm the team leader of Plan B Express. Bye-bye.